Welcome back to another video with this portable air conditioner, the Dim Big portable air conditioner. In the last couple of videos, you've seen what it came with, and then you've seen me try it out here in this room to see how well it uh, pushes air and how cool it actually gets. But today, we're going to be trying out this portable power station. I'm going to be using my Energizer PPS 960W2. And this thing is uh, 960 watt hours uh, on the AC. It has a peak of 1400 watts and a max watt of 700 on the pure sine wave inverter here on the AC. So it'll run anything 700 watts or less uh, pretty consistently. I'm thinking that air conditioner is probably gonna be around 200 and some watts at its highest and hopefully a lot less at its lowest. So let's get this thing plugged in and we'll see what kind of power this thing uses for an off-grid situation, for your camping situation, for a home emergency situation if you lose power during the summer. Uh, so you don't have to run a gas generator. And during the summertime, you got plenty of solar most of the time. So you can charge this thing all the time very easily in the sunlight. But let's get this thing plugged in. We have the air conditioner plugged in right now. Just plugged in with the LCD screen on the unit itself is on. See the power block? Got it plugged in here. It's not using any power right at the moment, so let's get this thing turned on and see what the initial startup power is. Let's see what we got. Let's zoom you in so we can see here what kind of power we're going to be using. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. I'm going to have it on a low fan. And I'm going to have the temperature set to 68. And you can see it's at 23 watts right now. Oh, just moved up a little bit. And I'm sure when that compressor kicks in, you want to see that power jump up. If it stays at 60 watts, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. Looks like it probably has one of those slow startups for power, being that it is a portable air conditioner. Here it comes. Kicking in. this power station wasn't 100% charged. I used a little bit not too long ago to charge a phone and a device and it got down to about 99%. So I'm going to do a temp check real quick just to see what's coming out. We've got about 68 degrees coming out. Low fan setting. Oh, it's going back down. Are kicked off. Still blowing 67, 66, 68 degrees out. I'm going to let that run for a few minutes. We've got the temperature set for 68 degrees, so. I'm gonna keep it at low for a little bit just to see what happens. We'll get back with you in just a few minutes to see what's going on. The air condition has been running off the solar generator, the power station for about 20 minutes, 20, between 20 and 30 minutes, give or take. And uh, it's been going between around 90 to 110 watts on low. And I did turn it down to 65 right before Right after uh, the last clip, I turned it down to 65 and left it on 65. And it's been going between 90 and 110 watts. So if that's a 960 watt hour, uh, most of these units, they say 80, 85%. Uh, 
So we'll say 900 watts. So at 100 watts, that's nine hours of use on low with this particular power station, which is that's pretty good. And if you use it during the day, you got 200 watts coming in. You can use this all day long and then have it for that few hours you sleep at night for a good eight, eight hour sleep. That'd be pretty good. We just turn that up to two, which is the medium fan. And let's get you zoomed in there where you can see. We're using around 100 and 120. Let that run for a minute and see. And it's putting out 64 degree air here, 63, 62, 62, between 62, 64 degrees Fahrenheit coming out of that air condition. 110 is kind of stabilizing a little bit. 109, 110, 108 on medium. All right, let's bump it up to high fan. The high setting. Let's see what that does. Now I'm pretty sure it said 240 watts on this thing. And you can hear that. The fan's on high. And it's using 115. And I'm pretty sure the compressor is on. Yep, so we're blowing out 61 degree air right now. I don't know what it is, but it seems to be blowing colder air out hooked into this power station. That's kind of weird, huh? 126, it just ramped up to 127. I'm just going to cut that back on low. See how long it takes to go down. Seems like when you turn it from high to low, it always takes a minute or so before it kind of powers down. There it goes. Powering down a little bit. So even on the low setting, let me get you zoomed back out. There it goes. As soon as I've done that, it kicked back out, but you can see where we at. 93, 94, between, between 90 and 100 watts. So that's pretty good. That's a good at least eight hours of runtime, at the least, with no power coming into the uh, power station. Even at its lowest setting, It's blowing out pretty good air. See that? So if you have this in a small spot, blowing right on you, that'd be a good night's sleep for sure. That's using a whole lot less water than I thought it would. Right now it's at 104, 105. So I guess as that compressor kicks in and out, it uses the, uh, as soon as it kicks on, it uses the, the most, and then it ramps down, I guess, a little bit. So right now we're at 110. So on low, this thing will pretty much run all night. And then as soon as the sun comes back up, hits those solar panels and starts charging it again. Probably could continuously run this thing camping. If you have a good, uh, area of sunlight.
because if it's using 100 you have a 200 watt panel it, it'll take a good while to charge that up temp check here 61 degrees blowing out 60 degrees 59 right there it's pretty good that's some cool air that would definitely feel good blowing on you after coming in in the tent or the little camper or wherever sweating outside and getting ready to go to sleep and if i haven't mentioned already i've got a uh, if you look down in the description i've got i've made a amazon storefront for all the items that i've been using like the power stations i've got i've got one for the power stations that i have and i've got one for like outdoor cooling and stuff like that i've got that air conditioning and a couple fans that I have on there so you can check those out. I'm kind of behind the times. I should have made one of those storefronts a long time ago. I've always wondered how people make a collection of things they uh, they like and have. Well this one's kind of dragging on too guys so I'm going to cut this one off here and you can see we've been going for about I don't know probably an hour or so and we're down to 93 percent. Started about 98, 99 percent. We're down to 93 so using 93 watts at the moment keeps dropping 91 so that's pretty good 90 right now so it's in between 90 and 100 100 watts which is really good especially something to keep you cool and if you're somewhere that has power that's a plus you don't even have to worry about the power stations or anything like that but if you want to go a little bit more off grid somewhere where there's no power you got a little sunlight and a power station, you're good to go. Ah, cold air. Well, thanks for coming over. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Handy out.